Bears forego a lot of activities to conserve their energy in the winter when food is scarce, even important bodily functions like eating and peeing and pooping. But they aren't just saving energy for an extra long nap, they also give birth during hibernation. Yeah, bears have their babies while they are tucked away in their dens for the winter. This seems like it would be the harshest possible time of year for cubs to be born, especially when they're pretty much stuck inside. So how, and why, does that happen? Hibernation is a state of inactivity that many warm-blooded animals, like bears, enter for several months out of the year. But contrary to popular belief, this physiological state isn't just a really long sleep when the temperatures drop. Instead, it's an extended period of torpor, a state of reduced activity that is triggered in adverse environments and during periods of food scarcity. During torpor, an animal's metabolism, breathing, and heart rate slow down, and its body decreases temperature. Animals can go in and out of torpor daily, or it can last for several days, weeks, or months, at which point it's referred to as hibernation. Some researchers have called bears super hibernators, because their body temperatures only drop a few degrees, in contrast with smaller hibernators like squirrels, whose body temperatures drop to near freezing. Because they don't have to unthaw themselves, bears can react to any potential threats really quickly. And even if they look like they're sleeping, bears are still aware of their surroundings. A paper published in 2011 reported that black bear heart rates increased as soon as researchers approached their dens, indicating the bears could detect the potential danger outside. They also found that pregnant black bears' heart rates increased as their pregnancy progressed, and the bears moved even less once the babies arrived, to probably avoid accidentally crushing them. When the babies are first born, they only require warmth and a constant supply of milk. As long as the female has adequately prepared before hibernation, she can provide for both herself and the cubs. To do that, bears have to build up a massive fat store in order to survive several months of hibernation. Their bodies slowly metabolize those fat stores to use as a food and water source. Their bodies even turn waste products into proteins to keep their muscles and essential organs functioning functioning properly. And the success of a female bear's pregnancy is tightly linked to those fat stores. That's because bears are one of several mammals whose bodies delay pregnancy until conditions are right. After mating takes place in the spring or early summer, the fertilized embryo hangs around, waiting to implant in the uterine wall in the fall, but only if the female has enough stored fat. For example, researchers have found that brown bears with less than 20% body fat didn't get pregnant even when mating had occurred. This may have evolved as a way to protect female bears from expending energy that they don't have, since they have to use their fat reserves as both fuel for themselves and their cubs. As weird as it sounds for them to go to these lengths to give birth during the months when food is hardest to find, there are some good reasons that this works for them. The strategy allows bears to spend all of their time foraging for food when it's most abundant, without pausing to give birth, and the babies are protected in the den when they're most vulnerable to predators. So when a bear emerges from the den with little cubs who are seeing the sky for the very first time, they weren't just lazily hanging out inside. A ton of preparation and energy went into bringing them safely into the world. Thank you for watching, and thank you to our awesome community of patrons for helping us make videos like this one, and all of the rest of the ones that we make. If you want to learn more about becoming a patron and supporting free science education on the internet, you can go to patreon.com scishow.